r slash ask reddit what is one thing you have never tried and have no desire to ever try potholing exploring them underground caves with the tiny gaps you have to squeeze through literally had a panic attack watching the movie the descent because of tight cave spaces at the beginning i would get stuck and never be heard from again just like that one guy who became president of the united states swimming under the ice of a lake edit thanks for all the upvotes guys and gals that's crazy not even for the sword of gryffindor why he went and with the horcrux on is beyond me cave diving get turned around and your fate is frantically looking to retrace your path as your oxygen runs out and you eventually drown there's enough things that can go wrong with diving i don't understand wanting to take away the ability to go to the surface quickly if necessary I like the one story guy told where they accidentally kicked up dirt from the bottom of the tunnel, and then couldn't see shit at all. I got lost my first time in a shipwreck because of that. I shouldn't have been last in line because my buddy was reeling back in the line we were following. But the dive master messed up and put us in the wrong order. I couldn't see anything but the fins in front of me. Suddenly the fins disappeared and I swam into a wall. I swam all around the room I was in and pointed my flashlight into every room I saw. I knew if my buddy went through a room there would be silt floating. So I didn't go into any of the rooms since they were all clear. Except the hallway we came from. I had no idea where my group went and all I could see was my flashlight shining off the silt in front of me. I decided to turn my flashlight off to see if I could see someone else's light light to a way out and realized there was a stairway that went into the middle of the room and led to a door out of the ship. My group had gone out of that door. Scuba diving in caves. The thought of not being able to surface is terrifying. I love swimming. Grew up next to the beach and have died a lot but being unable to head vertically up for air makes it a definite no go for me. Scuba diving anywhere for me. I know the odds of something happening to me are slim to none but once I'm in the water all I can think about are sharks. Nope. Can't even go into the ocean ankle deep because of the fear. I'll never forget the time I was diving with this cheap ass dive shop. I was like 15. And while following the guide, we just went into a big ass cave. I had my junior, open water, not overhang or anything, next dive with that company turned into a wreck dive, crawling through tiny areas near deadly lionfish and rusty nails, it was hella dangerous and I was scared, but it was also the two best dives of my life. Scat play, just, no, ski be da be da da dub dub. Take my upvote d do t do doot roti toot toot, rip da dip da do. Bungee jumping. I know it is safe. I know nothing will happen. I won't try as I'm just too scared nevertheless. A broken rubber brought me into this world. I'm not letting another one take me out of it. Did it. Would never do it again. You do right to avoid it. Eating live animals. Not a vegan but people eating live frogs. Octopuses and other small creatures are straight ducked. What, you don't like the thought of slimy tentacles covered in stomach acid wriggling around in your belly trying to make their way back up your esophagus? I want to downvote you so bad. Piercings for my dong. Hell no keep that sharp shit away from me. How about soft piercings? HMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMM
thus it makes me basically go 0 100 panic attack. I have zero interest in this, and so I never will. I'm a dive master. I did my course in Madagascar. One of the last deep dives was a deep blue dive at 120 feet. 40m. You couldn't see the surface, or the bottom, and everything around you is just deep blue. I actually really enjoyed it, but most of the time deep dives don't spend much time in those sorts of situations. Usually you're diving to get to something, like a wreck. I've never had a scary experience underwater, but for some reason I'd rather night dive the ocean than dive a murky freshwater lake. I dove the blue hole in Belize, 132 feet down. My rented regulator became quite hard to pull a breath in. Maybe not the regulator, but just the pressure. So that had me fighting a bit of panic. Then looking up you could see a circle of light far above and circling sharks. Not deadly sharks, but sharks nonetheless. Our Dover master said that if you drop anything like a camera, light, watch, mask, flipper, etc, let it go. If you chase it, you'll kill yourself. Scared the poo out of me, and yet, it was also amazing. Fugu, Japanese puffer fish, expensive delicacy. The tetrodotoxin the fish produces and stores in a bladder has to be carefully excised by the Fugu chef or else it will invisibly poison the diner. Hard pass. I don't care how long the chef has to study under a master Fugu chef before being allowed to serve customers. I don't care if the flavor of Fugu induces instant orgasm. I'm not rolling those dice. Every description of the flavor I've seen calls it mild or delicate which are polite ways of saying bland. I'm not down to risk my life for a culinary experience that's basically on par with a filio fish. Wednesday is Fugu fish sticks. A pea shit fetish where the girl shits peas in your mouth. What the duck? I don't get this fetish at all. Like why? It stinks it probably tastes awful. I literally don't get it. I was into pea porn some 8 years ago. Now I think it's straight up disgusting. Childhood me was a freaky character. Sounding. Jesus duck I wince every time I read that word. Surprisingly low on the list. Everything else above it I would try before sounding. Zero desire. Swinging cuckolding. Watching my wife getting nailed by another guy is the stuff of nightmares edit. Wow. Thanks for the replies. And my first awards too. Thank you. I don't have anything against the lifestyle at all. It's just not for me. I've turned down 4 threesomes in my time. All of which have involved the so at the time. Even the opportunities with my so and another girl. Whilst very tempting. Just felt potentially ruinous. Or when my so offers me a threesome with another girl my brain just says it's a trap. Say no. Same dude. It's unnervingly popular amongst my friend group. But, I could never. I don't care how hot the girl I would get to fool around with. Nobody is touching my wife. Plus, I don't want anyone but her anyway. Just seems like a bad idea. I mean, I've seen it work for some people and I don't judge them at all. I'm perfectly content in my monogamous relationship though. I'm 100% with you on this. I'm just not wired for that kind of relationship. But more power to you if you are. Hard drugs. Life of crime and prison. Smoking. I envy people who never tried smoking. I gave up more than 10 years ago and still have cravings. Good on you for quitting. Great job. Second marriage. Once was more than enough for me. Just out of curiosity how long ago was the divorce? I got divorced about 2 years ago and I'm still in your mindset. Just wondering if it fades with time. Took me 6 years or so. I dated my now second husband for a couple of years before I was like, okay, fine, I could get married again. Shoving a pineapple up my ass. Yep, hanging out with Hitler dressed as a French maid to go along with it is not at the top of my list either. Incest. What are you doing? Step Cobra? It's just Step Cobra, not like they are real Cobra. Drugs in general. I hate feeling like I'm not in control of my faculties. Even laughing gas at the dentist is too much for me, so I'll just continue to stay away. Small doses of caffeine are pretty much my only drug. I do a lot of drugs. Benzos, uppers, hallucinogenics, etc. But holy duck the laughing gas at the dentist was one of the worst highs of my life. I have never felt so anxious, scared, out of control, 
etc. In all my life, I 100% wish I hadn't been given it. Interesting. I bet I would hate most drugs, but that's surprising to hear that. Thanks for sharing. I also get super nauseous with the very few opiates I have taken resulting from injury surgeries. I forgot I had taken those. I had a prescription for Vicodin in 8th grade after getting my appendix removed. I was so sick from it that I puked. Wouldn't recommend puking after abdominal surgery. And that was just one dose. So even after having knee surgeries as an adult, I basically asked the doctor to prescribe me super strong ibuprofen because I wouldn't use any pain meds. Sex. He is the chosen one. Where is my virginity? Is it safe? Is it alright? Cocaine. I had opportunities in college. Too. But yet, I watched the people that were on coke and didn't want to do that. It's the most overrated drug on the planet. It's expensive. It doesn't last long. You always want more when it's gone. And you feel like garbage the next day. I do like the numbing effect though. For a similar experience. Drink a small pot of Deathwish coffee and power chew a few throat lozenges. That should save you about $70. P. Yep, a friend of mine that did coke would tell me it didn't even last half an hour. I was like, why would you spend that much money on something that didn't even last 30 minutes? Ballot, meth, and spelunking. What's ballot, precious? Ballot is a steamed fertilized duck egg that is considered a delicacy in parts of Asia. There's a whole ass baby duck in it. Feathers and all. Edit. My phone is not used to typing duck. Duck it. I'm leaving it. Edit 2. I'm glad you all got a kick out of my autocorrect. First time I've gotten more upvotes than on the original comment. Reddit is wild. Skydiving. Why? If anything goes wrong, you have the rest of your life to fix it. I get that it's a joke, but this actually applies for anything in life. A true yes man motto. Sustra Mingi do however enjoy watching YouTube videos of people eating, and uneating, it. Uneating this was grossly funny, thank you. Going on a cruise ship, even before covid, I couldn't believe people would confine themselves for days on end to a floating cesspool of germs. I'm no germaphobe either, I used to fly all the time. I went on a cruise a while ago and it was pretty fun. I liked not having to plan out my whole day and the food was pretty good and I slept better than I ever have in my entire life on that boat but if it weren't for my parents paying for my ticket I wouldn't go again. You have to pay out the ass for alcohol especially and you feel nickel and dimed for almost everything from certain menu items to the sauna spa to the fact that certain decks are specific to VIP ticket holders. Also turn the slight guilt you feel going out to restaurants that makes you over tip service industry workers and turn that up to a million. Also most of the events are really unappealing if you aren't over the age of 30. Anal. I'm a guy but I just don't like the idea of it. I'm a girl and I don't like the idea of it either. Now Kith. Getting drunk. I'm afraid of losing control over myself. I'm also afraid of vomiting. Smoking. I don't want to get addicted to it. And there's no reason to try just once. Because the first cigarette tastes terrible. Or so I've heard. The first few times you get a buzz. Then before you realize it I've been smoking for 16 years. Wise to avoid. Going to a strip club. Just not my style. I was in Vegas on summer of 2017 with a bunch of friends and we still didn't go to one. Long time ago, a friend and I were drinking through the night, and he really wanted to go. I'm just not into it. He's having a grand old time while I found a comfortable booth to relax nap in. Two strippers nudge my foot to wake me up and ask if I wanted a lap dance. Number. I want a nap. Leave me alone. What about a nap dance? Peas thanks for the gold. Coke and ball torture. Testicular torsion. Sounding. And pedophilia. One of these things is not like the others. Getting shot in the head. I'll try it once. Coprophilia. Don't google it if you don't know what it is. You will regret it. If it's good enough for Mozart, it's good enough for... Nope. Still weird. Mozart ate poop? Eating ass. I don't wipe a tongue's length deep in my air hole and I'm guessing y'all don't either. I don't see why it's all the craze. While I'm sure it would feel great to have my wrinkle grommet's tongue punched, 
I just feel like there's way too much maintenance upkeep required to keep that balloon not free and clear of morsels. Wrinkle grommets buck this cracked me up. Skydiving. I get people's want to do it after the second time for the adrenaline rush and that, but for the life of me, I do not understand what compels someone to be you know what, today I want to jump out of a plane and rely on cloth to bring me down safely I have no issue with heights or flying, but that just boggles me at it, well this blew up on the replies front, replied to a few, but there's just too many guys. New Year's Eve in Times Square. I love doing all the touristy stuff here, but that's one I would never do, unless of course, someone put me up in a fancy hotel overlooking the scene. Anal. Ducking a coconut. Edit. Thank you for my first award kind stranger. Russian roulette. As a woman, a lot of sex acts that have been normalized by porn. I feel at this rate I have to have a list of dons to establish with men rather than the fun sexy list of dos. Are you trying to tell me you don't enjoy having your clit slapped, getting for seduct until you puke, and then getting jackhammered while pretending you're having the time of your life? That doesn't seem like fun. Cottage cheese. Like duck no. Banzai the sport where you're at 3000 kilometers. Height. Then you have to throw your parachute and 30 seconds later you jump. Your objective is to catch parachute. It would be a nice death at least, you know. When someone ask your parent how you die they would be like, Shit I ate this homie had really big balls edit. 3000 meters. You're not supposed to jump from outer space. Gambling. I don't believe in it. At all. I have never bought a lottery ticket. Nor have I been in a casino. And I never will. I'll bet you five dollars you'll slip up one day. Spice. The drug. Yeah duck that. I know I can't even hack weed. That spice would duck me up beyond belief you don't need that shit in my life. Stop telling me the spice must flow June fanboys. Going to space. It freaks me out. I feel like everything that could go wrong, would go wrong. It absolutely terrifies me. Horse cum. Your loss. I'm almost full centaur now. Sending nudes, even to my fiancé. I trust him infinitely but I don't trust that I couldn't get hacked somehow and have my images stolen. Especially if they automatically get stored in the cloud. I know that sounds paranoid af but honestly I am definitely super paranoid about putting anything incriminating out on the internet or even through text. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cast you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.